दम खोपन भिखर दुखम मरीज सचम जाति पि दुखा जरा पि दुखा व्याधि पि दुखा मरणम पि दुखम अपि ये ही संपयोगो दुखो पि ये ही विपयोगो दुखो यम पिच्छम नौलभति तम पि दुखम संखिते पंचु पादान खंधा दुखा इदम खोपन भिखवे अपि विशाक दे अति इस रिजनल चोकजे और अब नॉस अमेरिका आयंसी चोकजे और अब कोरियन बुरिसम the 28th International Letters Lantern Parade for the Celebration of Buddha's Birthday. Happy Mother's Day today. Most respected Venerable Monks and Nuns. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today is very beautiful and meaningful day. It is very beautiful day because we from different backgrounds are celebrating Vesak Day here in the names of Buddhists. It is the day Buddha was born. It is the day Buddha enlightened. It is the day Buddha went to Nibbana. Buddha lived his life for 80 years. He went through family lives for 29 years in the royal palace without seeing the world outside. He searched for the truth for free, all suffering for six years. He walked and taught people for freeing social caste system and freeing and suffering for 45 years. His life about being born, searching for the truth freeing, suffering himself and others. Most respected venerable monks, nuns, ladies and gentlemen, I believe that we all of us try to live our lives as the way Buddha did and instructed. As we can see, the world now is very hard and maybe horror and horror. It is hard because of weather. It is hard because of human be behaviors. It is hard because of violence, such as domestic violence. It is hard because of politics and economics. You can name whatever you see reasonably. That is why climate change becomes reality scientifically in the world. So what? can we learn from Vesak Day today to reduce and stop eating? Truthfully, to do anything is to start from our minds. Naturally, the heat and harness are dominant in our minds and our hearts. The heat in our mind is much more than where the heat is. In this case, we have to back up and learn from ourselves individually because no one else can know ourselves better than we do. By thinking and questioning ourselves again and again, we can find the answers. How much do we love ourselves and hate others at the same time a day? Why do we love ourselves and hate others? Why do not we love ourselves and others. Other loves and haters, our good friends or enemies. What is the result of love and hatred? Is it suffering or happiness? 
when cannot we accept differences because the differences are the colorful truths in the society why do we love only our personalities and cultures but hate others can we really deny the differences cultures and personals of others this is called pavana in pali in english it is called meditation if we can do that in everyday life some occasions or sometimes we can we will be able to find and drop the heat in our minds practically we can drop the heat from our minds we can also drop the heat from our mouth and our bodies eventually because our minds are the foreigners then we can change the ways of our living we can change angry hateful violent lives to peaceful lives we can change stressful and wandering lives to calm lives we can change unhappy lives to happy lives when this internal heat hardness anger hatred and violence drop from our lives the weather and environment outside become the way they are and drop down automatically when individuals can change and as described above the whole society will follow this is the words of buddha mano popang kamia thamia mano setha mano majia mana sache patothena phia sate via karao te via ta ta nang tuk man ve te cha kang we we ha ta patian my is the forerunner of all ever states my is chief my mate are they if one speaks or acts with weak mind because of that suffering follows one even as the wheel follows the hoof of the trot ox mano popang kami thami mano setha mano maji manasa che pasan ne ne phia sati vie karo te vie ta ta nang sukk man ve te chaya we anupayini my is the forerunner of all states my is chief my mate are they if one speaks or acts with sure mind because of that happiness follows one even as one sorrow that never lives i believe that because of all these reasons and buddha's teachings the is regional chokje order of north america inc chokje order of korean buddhism always plan celebrating Vesak Day here every year by bringing and uniting all Buddhist backgrounds and others. I am very happy and appreciate for this great wisdom and beautifully, meaningfully, culturally annual celebration. May this Buddha words reflect our lives more effectively continuously. May the heat, anger, hatred, and violence drop down from our hearts, our minds, our mouths, and our bodies day by day. May the world become more colorful, peaceful, beautiful, harmonious, and prosperous in every moment. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Thank you very much.